a YouTube cult leader and allegedly a meditation expert and a convicted child molester is linked to six disappearances. A neighborhood photo was provided in Berkeley, Missouri, and investigators are investigating the disappearance of some adults shown being a part of the meditation in the backyard. And police say they are all followers of a spiritual cult and have been missing since August. Cartesia Morgan's daughter said she was going on a spiritual journey and she was initially supportive of her daughter. But troubling signs soon appeared, especially when Michaela Wickerson, a 25-year-old, began to distance herself, her three-year-old daughter Malaya, from the rest of her family. A decision Morgan said was unlike anything her daughter had ever done before. She said, I didn't understand my child. Although she grew increasingly concerned, Morgan could never have known what they were caught up in. Police say Michaela and Malaya have vanished, swallowed up with four other people by a spiritual cult. Authorities are investigating their disappearance and the suspected cult and possibility of ties to other murders in other states like Missouri. In addition to the Wickersons, that includes 24-year-old Michaela Thompson of St. Louis and 27-year-old Gabrielle German and 3-year-old Ashton Mitchell of Lake Horn, Mississippi, and also a 29-year-old Naman Williams of Washington, D.C. They were last seen at the Quality Inn near St. Louis back in August. There's been no response from them whatsoever, despite multiple attempts. Nobody's heard anything, not even during the holidays. Authorities say from speaking with their family members, they can't believe that their family members would not have reached out, especially during the holidays. Investigation has not turned up direct evidence that those missing are in imminent danger, and there is no indication that this is a violent group. But the adults are believed to be followers of Rashad Jamal, a convicted molester who leads the University of Cosmic Intelligence. Police describe the group as a spiritual cult, which has about 200,000 subscribers on its YouTube channel and 10,000 more across other platforms. Authorities said believers have been active on social media and shared Jamal's videos. Disconnected from family and friends, some have quit their jobs, meditated outside without clothes, and had polygamous relationships. Morgan said she holds out in hope for her missing loved ones to return. Michaela Wickerson has four siblings and a large extended family who mostly live near St. Louis, where she was born and raised. Her mother said she excelled in school and was always independent. For years, she had lived on her own, but remained in constant contact with family. That changed in late 2022, when Wickerson moved with young Malaya into a house in Berkeley, Missouri, and became close with people she had met online, Morgan said. She slowly withdrew from family, and in March of 2023, things came to a head. Morgan received a call from her daughter's boss, who told her Wickerson had quit her job. When confronted, Wickerson told her mother she was going to start her own business. That same month, Morgan dropped by Wickerson's house and saw people she didn't recognize. Wickerson told her mother the people were her family and asked, that she not come over anymore. Morgan listened and from then on drove by the house only to make sure things looked as if they were okay. She said Morgan twice asked authorities to conduct a wellness check, but Wickerson answered all their questions and seemed as if everything was okay. Since the group was last seen at the hotel in August, Morgan said she has been plagued by thoughts of what else she could have done for her daughter. She says now that she looks back, 
She was saying she was overwhelmed and needed a break, Morgan said. There were signs I should have noticed. She believes Wickerson suffers from long-term postpartum depression and was vulnerable to online manipulation. She said, my granddaughter was her first child, and that's overwhelming. She said, there were probably some things that she was dealing with in silence. And as we know what happens in spiritual cults, the behavior gets a little strange. They disconnect from family and friends, just like we know with some of the past occult leaders like Nature Boy and such, which if y'all don't know about Nature Boy, he came out of New York City, but he had that big coat thing going on uh, in Georgia where he did all the things that he did, right? But occultism been around forever, and weak-minded people do seem to get caught up in occults because they think that what they're saying is the right way to go because they do all that anti-government anti this and then especially for young people they dove right into it or dive right into it right instead of using their own head saying well whoa you want me to disconnect from my family i just met you you know you have all the old occultists but they weren't able to reach people at a large scale like they do now see now they're able to reach these young people on a mass scale and that's why we have to talk to our Young people ahead of time, let them know occultism is not new. See, because they're hearing it from the new occultist, the new 29-year-old that wants to be like your Dr. Yorks and whatnots. He want to be like the old occult groups. But he got more range than them, right? So he's able to pop at your child online. They look at him, oh, he got all these followers. So he has the believability factor behind him to back up what he's saying. And then they fall right into it. And next thing you know, they caught up in it. You know what I'm saying? So we definitely have to talk to our young people about cults, especially if you're aware of it yourself. That's why you're supposed to study everything as a parent, as a person, even as a young person. Look into all the schools of knowledge, all the schools of thoughts. It's plenty of them out here. And, hey, you got to make sure that you don't get into one that's going to uh, misguide you and enslave you. And it's a shame, too, because it's still black on black violence. Because these are other black people enslaving other black people. And that's back then and now. And that's all this is, another prime example of another ninja trying to rule over you. You see what I'm saying? And that's what this Rashad Jamal is doing. He manipulated them, got his followers. You see his, his YouTube followers is up. All his other social media followings is up. So that's definitely easy to manipulate some other young people. Oh, no, we free over here. We can do what we want to do. We can live off the land. Yeah, sounds good. You got to already do your research on other people that already tried it, like your nature boy. They already tried that. We free from the government. We don't have to do nothing but live free off the land and popping all that good game at you. You know what I'm saying? They quick to talk about the preachers, a, a pimp on the pulpit, but they pimping you too. You know what I'm saying? So it's easy to get pimped if you don't know nothing. That's why you have to be able to to look in the window of all schools of thought, from gangs to knowledge to black awareness, everything. You need to look in the window and see what that stuff is about before you go jumping in both feet, young people. Because when you do, you'll be just like these other young dummies, left your job, took your child, and you went following a convicted molester. A, con a convicted child molester at that. What kind of dummy would follow somebody of that nature? Because they're following by influence. They're not following by, uh, yeah, I looked into it and seen that this, this was a good journey to take. No, you followed it because somebody was popping at you. And then you looked at, oh, yeah, we popping. 
you see us on video, we we separatisms, you know, because at young at young ages, what do us young people like to do? When I was young, I liked to do the same stuff. That's why I was in gangs, rebellion, same here, except they doing it on a different level, but it's still the same thing. A bunch of ninjas trying to be over you, you know what I'm saying? So only uh, advice I have for people is, hey, talk to your children, even your young adults, because these are young adults and they do have their own mind to do what they want to do. But you talk to your young adults too and let them know, hey, you know, you might think you know something, but I bet you don't know this. I bet you don't know about no occultist groups. I bet you don't know who Dr. York is and different people and different groups of people that manipulated people and got them to follow them to these isolated places and screw them over. So it goes to say that the saying is nobody's too old or too young for critique. Everybody is available for information. So I should always be able to pop some game at you because it's something you don't know just as well as me. I could be older than you, but still you can pop some game at me. You can hit me with something that I don't know that I possibly could have got myself entrenched in. You get my, you get, if you get my, uh, my message right, you know what I'm saying? And that's the same here. You know, while they rebelling, you still should be telling them. You can rebel all you want, but I'm going to still get my point across because we're going to sit down and have a conversation. And after I give you the game, then after that, it's left up on you. You know what I'm saying? Don't come back to me when you get yourself caught up in something that I already warned you about because I'm definitely going to say, I told you so. You know what I'm saying? We'll heal your wounds after I tell you I told you so. And this is my message of the day is, hey, you got to continue to talk to your young people, whether they're young adults and especially if they're little children. And with that, I'm going to say this is the news in you. North, east, west, south. Unite from every alley in Cali, in the section in Back Street. Subscribe to the channel and hit the thumbs up on your way out the door.